Welcome guys to Progress Video 22 The Return of Stupart the Grumpy Scott This uh, Progress Video is a little bit of a mix up mashup from stuff I recorded before I decided to quit for focusing on university so some like Zora kills obviously and that but halfway through I return and we get some juicy stuff happening crazy so I hope you guys enjoy this progress video the first clue of the progress video we get our first red dragon mask that's pretty sweet a hey, do we have them already I guess that's a placeholder armado uh, braces pretty decent oh thank you lunar teleports that's, oh my that's an incredible clue now that's just incredible if you ever want a standard elite this is probably it a tree seed juniper tails onyx coins and some rune bars okay somehow worth I guess yeah I guess it's worth a lot if you're a normal account but oh we almost missed 85 farming because I thought we were only going to get 10,000 experience but there is 85 just uh, 85 is required for RD Elite because you need to plant Torstall. Could have done it sooner, but we don't have the agility requirement for RD Elite, so I didn't think it was worth uh, boosting to plant the Torstall because then I'd need to boost to pick, I believe. So it's much better just to get the level now rather than boosting. Saves a little bit of hassle, but that is just amazing. Now we can start planting Torstalls because we have. Uh, I think we have uh, almost a hundred torso seeds. That is thanks to Zora. Just quickly double check. We have eighty-seven. Jesus Christ! And we have five hundred there. Holy crap! That's amazing. That's an absolute crap ton of a uh, farming experience as well. God damn it, I wanted to record us planting the Torso. Hopefully it does not die so we can complete the first part of RD Elite. Just finished another uh, little herb grind, just a little update because this is just beautiful and depressing at the same time. We have a thousand prayer pots, four doors, a thousand super restores, four doors, 1300 sour brews. Uh, managed to get ourselves. Uh, where did they go? 550 stamina 4s, eight, almost 900 uh, super energy 4s. Oh, it's just beautiful. We do have uh, a whole bunch of qualms, but still, that's like four, f soon to be at least 500 supersets, which is just beautiful. But I can't boss. Ah. But still, it's pretty incredible. We still have another 940 uh, Snapdragon pots there which we will slowly uh, grind out at Tower of Life. Pretty uh, cool herbal level coming in here, 82. I don't think we get anything important, but what that allows us to do is boost to 87. And I'm s trying to find out if uh, anti-venom still act as a normal uh, antidote plus plus, because it gives you 12 minutes uh, and uh, poison protection, and I've got 1500 here you get 120 experience for four doors so I'm still trying to confirm whether or not I should just go balls to the wall and use a whole bunch of scales on uh, all of these pots to make them into anti-venoms because they would still act as antidote plus plus but I just want to know if that's a yes or no because it's just so much experience sitting there but I I just don't want to risk a uh, using up a lot of these and turns out that uh, anti-venom doesn't give you 12 minutes of protection so hopefully I could uh, find that out for you guys as well as for myself just look at those experience drops 224.5 experience per herb that is just beautiful man let's see how OP the resurrect crop spell is is it gonna work Oh, it did. So hopefully that torso does not get diseased again and dies. Uh, I'll be kind of pissed. <laughs> so good luck me. Apologies if you can hear a fan in the background. I am doing a render on my laptop for one of my uh, coursework projects. But there is torso collected and planted. So I think we do need a couple thieving levels. I think pick here a hero. Other than that two more agility levels and we can complete RD Elite which is fantastic. I just need to find time though. 
I uh, mentioned earlier about confirming whether or not uh, anti-venom plus not anti-venom the normal anti-venoms uh, that you need 87 to make which I'll be boosting from 82 to 87 you need antidote plus 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 Zora skills um, I just confirmed with uh, my main there that uh, anti-venom does protect uh, from poison for 12 minutes I asked on reddit I asked people on my friends list clan and everything no one could com confirm 100% whether or not anti-venom protected poison for 12 minutes and there you go that is a hundred eighty thousand herbal experience setting right there just beautiful so just to let you know you, when you get to uh, 82 herbal you can boost and get a ton of herb experience while maintaining a very uh, good portion for Dagon of Kings, Amarok uh, boss, Slayer even so the wrong fang once again at least we got our pure essence though. I haven't seen pure essence in quite a while though. So I'm pretty happy about that. Not happy about that. We are almost at 2200 though. Grind continues. 2200 KC coming in for. Wow. <sighs> Keep calm, Stuart. Keep calm. Okay, there's. What was that? Three kills for a fucking uh, Serpentine Visage. Okay, okay. And this will be the stage of the progress video where I have returned officially because I forgot I recorded stuff uh, before I decided to just take my little absence to focus on uni. But hopefully we can graduate. I don't think I've failed anything, but fingers crossed. I'll get a 2-1. On the right road for a 2 1, whether or not I get it, we'll have to find out in a couple of weeks because we get our last results from one of our modules. But there we go. Now that we're back, I don't know what to do. So the first thing I want to do is maintain my kingdom. Uh, it's 49%, I think we were at when we first got here. So that means 51 days of kingdom potentially lost for good loot. Hopefully, we've not lost a lot. I don't know how much it depreciates when it gets low. But let's see what we're at. Boom, 11,000 11, maple logs, that's actually quite a lot. Just imagine if we maintained it, man. We'd have so many Ranars, Qualms, Oft, man, would have, would have had a lot of Vandals. Any good seeds? So oh, we sniped a Ranar, so it's Ranar seeds, sweet. Uh, we really need to crack on the fire making a grind fairly soon because that is getting quite a substantial stack so that's 2.25 mil oh look at the cash stack that is getting low uh, I think that should be 7.5 boom there we go so I, don't, I really don't know what to do next I'll think of something and the spoils from the kingdom a lovely hundred and something hundred and fifty ness I want to see I think uh, well no only a hundred and twelve hundred and eleven sorry no yeah, almost 1500 uh, sorrow brews then but fortunately half of these seeds are just like a waste of bank space now because of Zora Zora's just an absolute beast when it comes to seed tree seeds because you really eh, I've got hundreds of them don't need them anymore. Uh, we'll drop the orange one as well. Now, next thing I can think of is maybe we'll do a herb and tree run, get them going, start doing the small things that need to be done daily first, I think, rather than jumping in to do something adventurous. Finally managed to get our 87 uh, herb load boost. Let's make ourselves a whole bunch of... Okay, good, thankfully. I'd, it might be quicker just to do it myself, but I'm so scared to drink it. Oh no, you can't. Okay, did not know that, but there we go. We're going to begin our little herbal grind. I think we're going to get like 180,000 herbal experience from this. So it's pretty sweet. Get us close to 83. I think we have a whole bunch of herbs still to use. Or maybe it's snapdragons. I can't remember. But that should get us 83. Once we get the red spider eggs. I think it's super restores. I think we had 1,000 unfinished super restores that should be quite nice but that is going to be a lovely lovely stack of anti-venoms fuck it the first zora kill 
in two months let's just do it today let's see what happens and there we go I finally uh, remembered one rotation and we get ah still depressing I wish we would still get in 20 as an Iron Man but okay I'll take an elite just doing 10 kills so we can get to 2-2-2-2 two, 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 two kill count hopefully that brings us something nice it'd be quite nice first elite in two months hopefully 83 herbal are coming in two levels to go and we can finally bash out one of the elite requirements for Varok I think you need to make a super combat potion so that'll be very very nice to do I don't know how we're gonna get 85 anytime soon but we'll figure out a way because we do have uh, almost a thousand snapdragons to do there uh, crush nests are going to be very hard to get. We do have a thousand qualms, so we need to collect a thousand limp work roots. So we'll be camping cockatrice, uh, ran our weeds. Uh, I guess we could collect some blue dragon scales, but uh, that's a bit of a pain and annoying. Uh, I, I really don't know how we're ever going to get 1500 uh, wines of Zamor. I guess we do have uh, 20 thousand uh, maple longs to make and string and then craft the natures because that's a part of our goal for 300,000 pure essence so I guess that might be one way to AFK that but that's a very long time away hmm a bit awkward I think it's been basically a bazillion years since uh, I've done an easy clue so hopefully this should be the reward and we get absolute shite did that actually just happen? Oh my god. I literally just said to not Salinger because I was considering camping uh, cockatrice for Limpwitz roots and I said I was going to get placeholder. Oh my god, are you fucking serious? Placeholder ranger boots and 150 mediums. Just unbelievable. 11 steps opening number 12 for oh my god please tell me that's what I think it is <gasps> what is my RNG the one day I play back I come back to play during my last week of university and I get fury ornament kit wow I cannot believe it Rangers into Fury Ornament Kit. Wow, I'm 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 stunned right now. Holy crap! I could I'm, I I could have been in uni right now, but I took the day off. Let's make this beautiful bad boy. Use the Fury on the Ornament Kit. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, uh, thank you, RNG gods. Have not played for two months, and I get rewarded heavily. And the beautiful double rangers. Just to rub it in to some of you. <laughs> Just got in from uni, didn't even have Camtasia open. Three chests in, we snag ourselves our third great axe. We just need the chest and we have full Darox, which is pretty good I guess. Means we might be able to camp Giant Mole a bit better, because we're at the moment we're using Abyssal Whip. Kind of, I don't know, I think Hasta, someone's been telling me that Hasta is better than full Darox, because Darox is somewhat inaccurate and I think, unless, unless you're max melee then maybe, but I guess an item's an item. Been using the new Necromancy book for the Barrows Teleport must see it's pretty goddamn good it teleports you right outside the archway so much faster than Mauritani legs 4 but guess you need to keep these on you to get the bonus runes so it's kind of eh because it's one less inventory space but I guess the runes are nice uh, hopefully camp barrows now because we have switched to the book so hopefully you can finish one set we are so close to finishing a few of them Especially uh, Varak, that would be nice to get some pieces towards that. Of course, Darox, we... I think... Have we completed Torags? I think we have. No, we haven't. I, I think we need the helm. I think Guthans... Actually, Guthans is the only piece we've completed, actually, isn't it? Hmm. 
So hopefully we can complete a set, it'll be really nice. Day long hangover. What a great way to recover with flitching. Celebrated with the class for a last day ever. Let's uh, continue with more fletching. Woo! And soon after, 92 fletching coming in. Fun times here. Absolutely amazing. Oh my god, this is awful. And there is 97 cooking. I still don't want this to be my first 99, but we are one level off. Uh, never ever burning our anglerfish again. So I might try and just stock up on sharks from Zora. Because we're probably not going to get a Tanzanite Fang for quite a while. We are relatively close to our purescence for 86 room crafting, so we could end up not getting that and having to maybe burn a couple, but meh, that's fine. Two more levels to go for 99 cooking, one level to go for 99 magic, two levels for 99 hit points. We're getting close to some, a lot of 99s right now. Been far too lazy. Fletching and now crushing dragon bones at the Ectofunctus because I just I don't know what else to do while AFKing. Wanted to do something practical. Two more pre levels to go. Jesus, man, I was not expecting an item. We just snagged us a Gothen's chain skirt. Pretty sweet. Oh, the Torag hammers. I think that's our third one now. Just need the helm. Yes! It's not a Varak fucking helm. Fantastic. Fantastic man. Two out of the four now. Hopefully we can snag the skirt fairly soon because that would be incredible. Arms hood coming in. Jesus man we're getting lucky with items. Now that I actually think about it I think we have just completed Arams set. And just to confirm Arams search boom chest rope staff and the hood. Nice. Nice, nice. All that's left now is Derek's chest, Carol's coif, Torag's helm, skirt and brassard, and I think that is us done with barrows. And the items keep coming in. Gothen's war spear. Jesus, I think that was what we needed to have a uh, placeholder Gothen set. <laughs> Oh dear, if only that could have been something I needed, but let's just double check that this is actually us completing a placeholder Gothen set. Uh, quickly, Gothen. Oh no, it's three. That's unfortunate, it's the Gothen's hell we needed for the placeholder. Three Gothen spears though, if only it was a normal account. Unbelievable, Carol's coif. That is two sets completed today. That is... Wow. Although it's useless though, but nice to have the set finally completed. Ooh, first the Carol's Coif, now Carol's Crossbow. Yeah, I'll take it. Oh, let's not tally out. Quickly grab that. Not bad, I guess. Wow, a second Guthans be a two day. Are you serious right now? Barra's RNG is just ridiculous. What's that? It's like seven items and like 56 chests? Jesus. Ah, oh, come on, Aram's Hood. That could have been another item we do not have, but I'll take it, I guess. Okay, third Gotham Spear today. Uh, I really don't know what's going on at all, to be quite honest. But I'll take it. Another Gotham's Chain Skirt. <laughs> I know someone who's been hunting for that for quite a while. Ah, oh, the duplicates, man. Come on. This, I'm having enough of this. Where's my goddamn Derek's plate of a rack skirt? Come on, let's go. Second flail coming in. God damn it. The wrong one. We just need a Prasado skirt. Preferably the skirt. But ah, the RNG's on fire, so it's pretty good. Let's continue. Oh, is that our fourth Carol skirt now? That's getting a bit ridiculous. Sorry, uh, I and Nick, I think you said you wanted one of these. Tough luck. Carol's coif. God damn it. Why am I getting duplicates of items I've literally just got? Or just unlocked? Oh dear. I guess there is some upside to it. We have just completed two sets of Carol's. I think we are almost at three. We just need another coif. 
and that is three sets of carol which is quite nice I guess our arms rope skirt okay not much else I can see really the second carol skirt come on Jagex at least give me something different followed by an elite clue although I can't be asked doing elites right now mm, I thought I would escape the Virac Helm curse but I guess not a double chest with a demed pretty decent RNG is just on fire right now just in case you're new to the series and not aware of my uh, little uh, curse that's the Virac Helm curse I have eight I have total of 10 rack items and 8 of them are helmets. Yes it's a good thing, yes I know this, but still. <laughs> oh, so funny. The Gotham's chain skirt back at it again. Almost rivaling Gotham's spear count now. Two rack hammers, swing and a miss for completing the two rack set. Chest 800 to end the Barrow's grind for now. Can we get something? <laughs> uh, what? Eight Varak Helms, three flipping flails. Can I not just get this damn skirt? Oh, Brassard. I'm getting absolutely trolled right now. Uh, at least it's a good item to end on. I guess it's better than Torag Hammers. It's unfortunate, but I think we'll call it there, definitely. Well, I did say my RNG was on point. A fucking jar of swamp. I think that's number... Is that number three? Uh, kill 2300 for grapes and snake skin. Uh, we've been getting trolled pretty goddamn hard. We've had like, I think we're like five or six bloody dragon med helms and like the 30 kills we've done. So it's been crazy. It's Jar of Swamp as well. I guess my luck at Zora's for the Tandemic. Fang at least is not good. It's really not good. Hopefully we can get it in the next video and end this goddamn grind, but we'll never know. We did get very lucky at Barrows and I think at the start of uh, this progress video two months ago we got like a bunch of Zora items which very close together which was quite lucky. I think it was like Magic Fang and Serp Helm or something within a couple kills. What else happened? Oh yeah, the double rangers. That was pretty goddamn sweet in the Fury on it. So we did get very lucky this episode. So I guess I can't complain too much at Zora. So I hope you guys enjoyed.